Lesson 1 Around the House In today's lesson, we're going to go through a house, learning vocabulary for the different objects in each room and the different actions you can do there. You'll also learn the difference between house and home. Bedroom Let's begin with the bedroom. The bed is the place where you sleep, probably with pillows, sheets, and blankets. In this photo, there are two lamps next to the bed. You keep your clothes in a closet, on hangers, or in a dresser, inside the drawers. At night, you go to bed, or go to sleep. And in the morning, you wake up, maybe with an alarm clock. Try to answer these questions now. What time do you go to bed? What time do you wake up? Bathroom Now we'll learn about the bathroom. In the bathroom, you can brush your teeth using a toothbrush and toothpaste. Most people use the sink to brush their teeth, and in this photo, the woman is looking in the mirror. In the bathroom, you can also take a shower. You use shampoo and conditioner to wash your hair and soap to wash your body. Then you use a towel to dry off. Of course, you can also use the toilet. And don't forget to flush the toilet after you're finished. Try to complete these sentences now. Kitchen Time to go into the, kitch into the kitchen. In the kitchen, you can cook, prepare food for eating. When talking about a specific meal, we usually use the verb make. Make breakfast, make lunch, and make dinner. You can keep food cold in the refrigerator, or fridge for short. And food that needs to be very cold, like ice cream, is kept in the freezer. Other foods are kept inside cabinets or on a shelf. The plural is shelves. You can prepare food on the counter, cook food on the stove or in the oven, and heat it up in the microwave. There are many objects in the kitchen but the most common are pots, pans, bowls, plates, forks, spoons, and knives. Living Room The living room is where people relax and spend time with friends and family. There's a couch or sofa to sit on. You can also sit on a chair. There's a bookcase and a window. The floor can be covered by a carpet or rug. Structure of the house Finally, let's go through the hallway and out the door so we can see the outside of the house. The vertical part is called a wall. The bottom is the floor and the top is the ceiling. The word ceiling refers to the interior part, and the word roof refers to the exterior part. Some houses have a basement that is underground and an attic to store things, and you can park your car in the garage. House or Home Let's finish this lesson with the difference between house and home.
A house is a specific type of building. A house is a physical thing, but the word home is more of an emotional idea. It means the place where you live, and where you have a special emotional attachment, where you feel comfortable, safe, and happy. Your home can be a house, an apartment, or another type of structure. In English, we often use the word house when talking about the building itself. For example, I live in a small house, and home with the verb go and the preposition at. For example, you can say, I was at home last night. Or when you leave work, you can say, Bye everyone, I'm going home. You learned a lot of words in today's lesson. Now try the exercises to practice the vocabulary. If you're already registered for the Vocabulary Builder course, you can continue with Lesson 2 tomorrow. If you're not yet registered, sign up today to get 29 more Vocabulary Builder lessons.